Hello and welcome to the second part of um, Python uh, speed run with me, Mr. Denton. Uh, so last time in 10 minutes, I got up to task 1.7. Uh, so I've got another 10 minute timer and I'm going to start that now. And My then I'm going to go on to the next one. So uh, <laughs> primarily we were looking at using input, maybe doing a bit of string manipulation. Given a two digit integer, print its left digit and then its right digit. Okay, well, this is pretty simple if you can remember your whole number, um, your whole number division and your, um, so A, whole number division 10, that's going to give you the first digit, and then A mod 10 should give you the second digit. Run that. Oh god, my face is in the way. Ah, okay, so uh, 78, boom, 7 and 8. Nice. Okay, nice one. So we're looking at uh, I've got my, my doing as many as I can in the 10 minutes. I've got my puppets because I can use my puppets. That's my daughter having her own and lesson, so please mom. ignore. Uh, okay. Uh, given a two digit, swap its digits around. Okay, so it looks like I've already had a go at this one. Sorry, I wasn't trying to cheat. Uh, you get the units from mod, you get the tens using whole number division, that's the two, and then you just spin them around, make sure you set it as a string, and then that should work. Too many notifications popping up. Um, okay, so if I run that, yeah, there we go, Bob's your uncle, Francesca's your uncle's girlfriend. <clears throat> Let's see if I can do another seven tasks in ten minutes. I can't hear Okay, so, okay, so, okay, this um, is kind of cheating. Um, I'm just going to reset my workspace. Okay, so given an integer greater than nine, print its last two digits. So it's last two digits, we just divide by 100, yeah, and take the remainder, and that will give us the last two digits, right? So yeah. the remainder of our number divided by 100, again, we just use mod. Sunny's muted as well. Run that. Sunny's also muted. Okay, and um, run that, and it should give us the last two digits. Yeah. Easy peasy. So a lot of this is about just knowing the right tools to use, knowing the right functions. Uh, mod is just a really important function, comes up all the time in coding. Uh, given an integer, print its tens digit. Okay, so that's interesting. So we've got to, got to get the three out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to take whatever our value is and set it equal to whatever our value is, mod 100. Okay, that should give us the last two digits. And if I then do the same thing, that's equal to whole number 10 division, then I can print A and I believe that should work. So one, two, three, four, put it there, that's three, boom. Okay, so when I'm solving problems, uh, even when I'm doing them quickly like this, I prefer to break them into single steps, okay? Some people think that the art of good coding is to do it in as few steps as possible with the longest, most complicated uh, line of code. However, code needs to be readable and needs to be understandable by other people. So just because you've made a really clever bit of code doesn't mean it's a good bit of code because, um, well, because other people need to be able to read it and understand it. So. Uh, so three digits, so uh, hundreds, going to be equal to uh, a whole number division by a hundred, tens is going to be equal to a uh, what is it going to be equal to? Hmm. Maybe I should start from the end. Okay, so this is a little bit trickier than I first thought. Oh. Oh. 
can say uh, units equals a a mod 10 will give us units and a equals a minus units Divide by ten, should be the tens, and then print uh, units plus hundreds plus units plus hundreds plus tens. That's it. Yes. So then, uh, one, two, three. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but I'm a bit trying to go a bit quickly. Okay, three minutes left. I only managed to do a few different tasks. Uh, okay, given a positive real number, find its first digit to the right of the decimal point. Hmm, okay. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Strawberry ice cream would be hard to jump into, though. Okay. Yeah, the chocolate pudding would go everywhere. Okay, what about... Um, I'm going to go strawberry ice cream. <laughs> Even though it's really cold, so I still... Yeah. Oh, okay. That's not going to work. But then the ice cream would melt. It's not going to work either, right? Oh, okay. Strawberry ice cream. Boom, nice. So I did a little bit of maths, a little bit of um, casting. So that was a decimal. I casted it as an integer, got rid of the decimal part. <coughs> uh, Okay, last one, got two minutes. Well, maybe not last one, maybe I'll do two. Okay, uh, a car can cover a distance of n kilometers. Okay, uh, all right, so, uh, a, so n per day, n, n per day, so miles, days, uh, so miles, and I don't know, what do we call that? The distance can travel. Distance. I, want, I, would I would definitely choose strawberry ice cream because it's hot in vanilla. Okay. So, uh, so uh, if you've got to mod it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, divide. So, divide. Phase uh, equals distance. Needed divided by whole number divided by distance from travel, uh, and then something like if uh, there we go. So if distance needed uh, mod distance from travel not equal to zero. Not equal to zero, then we've got to add another one. Then. What did you say? Okay, then let's think this. That's a bit. So, 700 miles a day, got to 
work all the time on fifty days, miles, I should say two days, boom. Okay, uh, ah, there we go. Okay, that was my 10, oh, yes, yeah, got to stop that, ah, no. Okay, so that was my 10 minute Python Replit speed run challenge. Uh, as you can see, I managed to do seven of the numbers awesome, really tasks, are. one of which I think I achieved slightly. Uh, anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting or useful to you. Um,